Welcome back to the 20th of Remaking Hotline Miami and today we're gonna do the collision part but not for the weapon throwing but for our dude so basically he cannot well, go over walls so he cannot ghost anymore so this is our idea of well my idea how we can actually do this in my opinion this is a very quick and effective way how to do it but it comes with some limitations of course we can do it with the other video tutorials they make it quite long and very elaborate and of course they will do and have all the fallbacks we're gonna do this the easy way so stay tuned this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider subscribing sharing and liking all right so this is our project let's start it and okay what we are seeing we can basically go through the walls which isn't the best idea all right so what we can actually do is have a simple collision which is called place meeting i guess you've seen that in other tutorials i'm going to do a very uh, let's say it mild version of that one so we just say place meeting here we go and then for that we need an x and y value so basically we are hey if of the of our position of x and y are we bumping into what well the object wall and if you remember our object walls it's these guys here so object wall object wall so here we want the, well not to go through them and of course later we will deactivate them so make them invisible but still well the function should be in there so we're just saying like hey are we actually bumping into the wall well then we should be doing nothing so we just do the negative version we just say like hey are we not bumping into the wall then we can horizontally move and of course we can do the same part for the vertical movement and for now this would be pretty terrible because this doesn't work at all but uh, stay with me so these are the values and now this wouldn't make any sense so therefore we say like horizontally we would say add these guys in here so plus and do something like this but this reads a little bit terrible so let's create uh, two new variables this is of course optional i like it to be a little bit more uh, results page I like it to be a little bit neater to read so for example this is the theoretical result so horizontal speed times walk speed so this is what we are adding to the x anyway and then we're just checking hey if we add this to our current x position so the theoretical result and we are not hitting our object wall so no then sweet we are walking and then of course we can do the same stuff for the vertical movement so v and of course vertical speed and then boom we add it to our y value and this still won't be working so <laughs> so let's check this out why this isn't working correctly so as you can see now uh, let's turn around and then i'm trying to i'm pressing the right mouse button uh, or the, well, the d button to for movement not working why is that so well there is one little issue which we are having with our collision mask and let's make a little nice check so basically we can actually uh, draw our collision mask in a rectangle so we just say hey draw a rectangle and then we're having our b box left top right and bottom and so on and these are the points of our collision mask so very very quickly so every sprite has a collision mask so this one has something like this and this one well has a collision mask like this and then if we are if they are bumping into each other we have a collision then well we do something or we for example prevent something in advance this is what we are doing with our collision mask but let's say our dude is rotating and then the collision mask actually changes so let's go mm, no that's actually not what i wanted to do <laughs> yeah. so here our, our collision point so the people box top left right and bottom and top here we go so you now understand where this is coming from so let's start it in our little debug mode come on come on come on and as you can see oh we are rotating and our um, sprite mask changes which isn't too good so for the collisions as you can see Let's say we don't, we don't move the mouse, we are 
having no issues but let's say we rotate and now we are stuck so i'm pressing all the buttons then i am stuck and then we are unstuck this is not good so therefore we need to circumvent this issue so how can we do this well kind of uh, easy we are creating a fake image angle we just call it image image angle oh let's be super creative as you can see haha -ha. and just make this into a variable and of course create it here and now all our things are not working properly <laughs> because that thing is getting red all the time so therefore we need to replace that quite a few uh, times first of all let's say in our uh, uh, the thing which we are drawing so basically our sprite here we can kill this and this thing is getting used everywhere the weapon x and then for example if we are creating the shots and so on so therefore i'm going to quickly replace all of them in uh, in fast forward so stay tuned all right so here we go i almost changed it everywhere so basically in the shots in the in the muzzles everywhere it is almost everywhere and of course when we are throwing the weapon boom here also and now everything will work as previous so let's check this out so basically we're having everything in order besides the muzzle because as you can see it's stuck in one place well let's quickly change it so where's our muzzle and it was sticking to so basically it was grabbing well the instance which it was sticking to and here we just say like hey boom the fake image angle so let's start it again right let's Try it again and everything is working correctly but now if you're paying close attention you see that on the horizontal the bounding box is shorter than on the vertical this isn't good and therefore we still can get stuck this is let's try come on let's get stuck <laughs> not working <laughs> but theoretically we can actually get stuck come on let's let's give it a try come on why is this not working because the um well the box around it should be even which isn't good so therefore we need to change this also so how can we do this well kind of easy we just go into our object player and just give him the same sprite mask which we gave it for the weapon boom and now this uh, rectangle is uh, while well, having the same length on the width and on the height and therefore we're having no issues here all right so if you're thinking like hmm I would like to make this a little bit more foolproof you can actually build in kind of a mini 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 buffer so basically we are just saying like hey the walk speed but let's up it by let's call it let's say one so and then well we will have kind of a, a way to make this a little bit more tangible if you like this is of course optional and for example now you're seeing ah, okay we are you can't even get close which isn't too bad so as you can see boom now this dude doesn't need to clip in completely into the walls which is looking all right so as you can see now we're having even a little buffer in between i mentioned that we cannot do everything in this system and this is one of the things for example the walk speed should be all the time a regular number nothing which is like let's say something like this because um, pixels are one or there is one pixel or there's none and therefore if we create some such a thing then if we are unlucky we can still get stuck as you can see we built in the buffer which is good but for example if i would not have this one then this dude would could get definitely stuck and the next thing which is kind of important also you need to place the guy kind of on a grid so basically he is already on a grid so as you can see this is a 8 by 8 or 16 by 16 it doesn't really matter but it is an even number for example if you just place your guy without snapping to the grid something like this he still can get sucked so therefore these are the two conditions first of all uh, no decimals and second of all a good starting position and of course because this needs to be uh, well, uh, not a decimal that that means you have no acceleration can you build it in yes but then you need to well first of all work with little buffers like here and then you need to round the numbers and then it would make the whole thing 
a little bit more complicated. Not sure if I want to do a video on that because uh, we don't need actually to have an acceleration in this uh, little project. If you guys want it, well, you can implement it further. So that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.